It wasn't the fresh roasted coffee here at Kinship in Astoria Park, but an earthquake that had New Yorker Stephanie Gertsch wide-eyed at 6 a.m. I really felt like the building was shaking. I'm like, did I just feel like what I think I felt here on the East Coast? Stephanie just moved back to the East Coast from California. She knew what was happening. I was living in California for the past five years, and I'm used to the earthquakes, and then come here, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, like, that's a new one to wake up to. <laughs> The USGS saying the center of the tremor was near 21st Street and 24th Avenue. And it wasn't just Queens. On Roosevelt Island, many felt the quake. It was a big bang followed by a vibration, which actually awoke the whole family up. Um, it felt like the building shook. It was very sudden. I was sound asleep and suddenly my bed, oh, pardon me, my bed, my bed shook. Scores of first responders rushed to check out what was first reported as explosions on Main Street here on Roosevelt Island. It was like a big boom and then the room shook and, uh, and uh, I thought it was an earthquake. It's a boom, just boom. Yeah. And did it wake you up or were you already up? Woke up my wife and freaked her out. So. Uh, USGS confirmed that there was a magnitude 1.7 earthquake uh, about uh, three miles uh, underground uh, in Astoria this morning. So uh, I pulled up the data that we had and looked at it and sure enough we have uh, we recorded a, a, an event. The quake comes on the heels of a massive earthquake in Japan. Dr. Stephen Holler says the two events are not related. I believe that was a 7.5. So it was about a million times stronger than uh, than what uh, we felt here. The Fordham professor also says there are fault lines on the East Coast, but New York residents have nothing to fear. I wouldn't worry about it too much. The, uh, the East Coast has been uh, geologically stable for millions of years. Back here at Kinship Coffee Roasters in Astoria Park. I think Chris is making that right now so I can work on. They're just thankful today's quake didn't put their store through the grinder. All the cups, saucers, and merch stayed put on the shelves.